Welcome Virgo to your September reading. We are going to go ahead and see all the possible energies and messages coming through for you for this month. Virgo, I'm going to start off with your oracle cards. This is going to give us our core messages, the main themes coming through for you. I'm then going to go ahead and clarify everything further with the tarot so that we can get some deeper insights as to the experiences, the opportunities and the possibilities coming through for you for this month. Virgo, this is a collective reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. Your first core message coming out, my dear Virgo, is talent. And when talent comes out, you are being asked to look at what makes you special, Virgo. What makes you unique? Now, this could be a talent that everybody is aware of, like Virgo is a wonderful singer. Virgo paints beautifully. Virgo is brilliant in business. But sometimes, my dear Virgos, our talents our true talents are hidden, talents that sometimes we are not even aware of. So it's going to be interesting to see what this is all about. And then you have the core energy of friendship, which is a beautiful energy because it speaks to us of connectivity and being part of a soul tribe. I'm going to start off over here with Empress and I'm just going to get your clarifier. Right, let us see now what this Empress energy is for Virgo, please. And we've got Page of Cups. Virgo, this is a very positive message coming in because what I am seeing here for you, in September, you are going to have a chance, my dear Virgos, to show another side of yourself, to step outside of your comfort zone, to do something you've never done before and really discover what you are made of. Now this is going to come through very differently for everybody. The kind of energy I'm seeing here, my dear Virgos, is say for example, you are part of a team at work and you are working on a very big and very important presentation. And on the day of the presentation, your boss falls ill and you have to step up and take over. And not only do you step up, my dear Virgos, and do a superb job, but it's almost like you step into a role you never thought was possible for you. You are confident, you are clear, you are convincing, you have everybody eating out of your hand and the presentation is a massive success. Another example of this would be, my dear Virgos, say you and your significant other are negotiating for a new home and you are in big negotiations with the agent and usually your significant other takes the lead role in negotiating. And you usually just come along for support. What we are seeing here in the final meeting of the negotiation, your partner for some reason is unable to attend and you have to attend the meeting alone and negotiate for this dream home that both you and your partner really want. And we see, my dear Virgos, that not only do you do a superb job in negotiating, but you close the deal you come out far better than you both ever thought was possible and you get your dream home. Page of Cups is telling me, my dearest Virgos, in September, you are going to hear a lot of people speaking about you and what you have done and accomplished in this particular scenario. And this is very connected to our talent energy. You're going to realize, my dear Virgos, that there is far more to you than even you realized. I've just given you very simple examples. This can come up anywhere, my dear Virgos, where you step up and you shine and you come unto yourself that not only takes 
everybody's breath away, but it shocks and amazes you. So it's a very positive and uplifting energy I'm seeing for you. Right, let us move on and see what Six of Wands is all about, and I'll just get your clarifier. So we just want to see now what Six of Wands is for Virgo, please. And we've got the moon. Virgo, this message with Six of Wands and the moon is very connected to what we have just spoken about. And it's very interesting because what I'm being told is that where you particularly come unto yourself, where you are particularly strong and gifted and skilled, is the very area, my dear Virgos, where you have felt particularly insecure and inadequate. This is our moon energy. So, my dear Virgos, if you had, say, a huge fear of public speaking and you always believed that you were a complete disaster when it came to speaking in front of other people, in September, you are going to find out that actually, my dear Virgos, you are a born orator. When you speak publicly, you capture your audience. You have a way of expressing yourself and bringing people in. And what you thought was your biggest disadvantage is actually your biggest advantage. If you always thought, my dearest Virgos, that you're terrible at meeting new people, you clam up, you're shy, you don't know where to put yourself, you're going to find out that when push comes to shove and in September you have an opportunity to get out there and be part of a group and when you just relax and be yourself and just start speaking naturally and engaging with people, my dearest Virgos, people are going to connect to you and relate to you in a way that's going to amaze you. As you can see here, we've got these floating feet and this little piglet with wings and the singing bowl, or this imagery of, wow, where did this come from? How did this happen? But, my dear Virgos, as you can see with Page of Cups, his heart chakra is vibrating, and we've got the hands here making the heart signal. When you operate from the heart, when you do something that is natural to you, and it's an organic expression of who you are, you, my dear Virgos, are going to relate and bring people in towards you and you're going to discover hidden talents that you never thought you had. And this is why we are seeing Six of Wands here. Six of Wands is our victory card. You, my dear Virgos, as the Empress, are going to feel this wonderful sense of accomplishment. You know, Virgo, when we do something we are so fearful of and we step up and we push ourselves right out of our comfort zone, and not only do we do it, but we excel in it, can you imagine the deep sense of triumph and success you are going to feel? So you're going to have this energy both internally and externally because people are going to see you and acknowledge what you are bringing to the table. Very nice to see, my dear Virgos. Let us see now what the High Priestess is all about for you. So we want to see now what High Priestess is for Virgo, please. And we've got Ace of Wands. Virgo, I love to see High Priestess coming out here for you. Because what it is telling me is that when you encompass our Empress energy and you come unto yourself and you shine and blossom and glow in this new side of yourself, what is actually going to happen is that you are going to realize, my dear Virgos, that this has always been part of you. 
whether it is speaking to people and making them feel good and relaxed, whether it is in a negotiation scenario or a presentation scenario, or whatever it is, my dear Virgos, it could be anything where you discover something about yourself that you thought was lacking. You're going to realize it was always there. And for some reason, my dear Virgos, and this will be, of course, very different for everybody, you believed that this was a weak spot. Ace of Wands tells me that once you have this deep realization of, oh my gosh, I can do this. I am gifted. I am skilled. I am talented. My dear Virgos, there is no holding you back now. I do think that in September, you're going to make big decisions in how now you can incorporate this new gift, this new talent and skill into your life. Maybe you join like-minded groups. So if you discover, my dear Virgos, that you are a brilliant orator, maybe you join an acting group or a debating club where you can really find your voice and put yourself out there. If you discover, my dear Virgos, that you actually have a wonderful talent in pottery and sculpturing, perhaps you join a class where you practice your skill and you learn new ways of doing things. And by putting yourself out there, you meet new like-minded people and your social circle and soul tribe expands and grows. You know, my dear Virgos, it's always so exciting to learn and grow new sides of ourselves. This doesn't only happen to us when we are in our teens and twenties. We grow and we learn new things at every stage of life. You, my dear Virgos, could be in your forties, your fifties, even in your seventies and eighties, and you discover something out of the blue, something so unexpected that you, you thought you were really not good at. That just sometimes happens, my dear Virgos. We just have this idea and it's not based on truth. But now you're going to be discovering something so wonderfully surprising about yourself. And this, my dear Virgos, is going to make September such an enthralling month for you. Now let us see what the sun is all about and I'm just going to get your clarifier. Right, let us see now what the sun energy is for Virgo, please. And we've got the chariot. Virgo, we see that September is an exceptionally positive, an inspirational month for you. A month, my dear Virgos, where you are going to make deep realizations about who you are, what you want in life, and where you are going. And with that, we have got the chariot. So we have two cards here that speak to us of success and victory. The chariot tells us that you, my Virgos, haven't felt this confident and this sure of your path for the longest time. But in September, you are ready to charge forward in a new direction. As you can see, our horses are galloping into the future. You're going to be so sure, my dear Virgos, of where you're going, that all you can do now is see the big picture of how you can incorporate this new energy into your life and give it a starring role so that you can really work on it and expand it so that you can be the best possible version of yourself. Wonderful energy we are seeing here. Right, let's go ahead now and get a message from your guides for the month. So we just want to see now what Virgo's guides would like to share with them, please. And you have got creativity, creativity guides number 37. Virgo, the number 37 is your lucky number for September. Any combination or variation of the numbers 3 and 7, please consider very auspicious. 
your creativity guides are coming in my dear Virgos and as you can see this is very related to our talent energy letting you know that now everything is in your hands you are able now to create and initiate and bring about whatever my dear Virgos you want to see in your life and if you look closely, we have all these butterflies coming through. And the butterfly speaks to us of transformation. Coming out of the caterpillar stage into the butterfly stage. All these cards that we are seeing for you are messages of you now coming into your power. This is the time to shine, to show what you are made of, my dear Virgos. No playing it small now. You've got everything you need and more to spread your wings and bring in what you want to see manifest on the physical plane. So that is all I have for you right now. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I wish you the most wonderful month and I am sending you all so much love.